right. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You guys, uh... You guys want to play? I mean, we just finished playing a game. Yeah. You want to play? The, you want to play? Want to play, play another game? game? And like, yeah. I feel like I feel like I want to play something new though. I don't want to do another the, another like tardy thing. I feel like we could play like an actual mm -hmm. game that we has have, some sort of like. Let's actually use our minds for a bit here. Yeah. Let's have let's. We haven't done one on Desert Bus for a long time. Let's do a draft. Oh heck yeah! Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. Time to draft. We could draft. draft. What uh, we have a bunch of different sets, boxes in the back. Do yeah. we? Okay. Well, that's, that's that's. I mean, I didn't want to use our cards because oh, I'm not okay. sure what those are for. So I actually had uh, Britt go out and get me a couple uh, a couple packs here, and set them up for a uh, Winston draft. It's great. All All right. Right. You'll love it. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I think we're gonna let's let's head on over to the uh, zone here. Okay. Let's draft. Yeah. We've already cracked open the packs that we, we need to go. I figured we could we could uh, forgo the crack mac for this one because we, yeah. we'll make we'll make you know, some deck decks afterwards. But I figure what we're gonna do is we'll we'll just go around the table one person at a time and we'll we'll put together ourselves each a little deck here and then uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know just you know, we don't have to make necessarily go through the actual full rounds but we can yeah give an idea of what we what we feel like is powerful in our in our deck and how it's gonna work yeah. It's, okay. It's like conspiracy. The draft is the fun part. Exactly, yes. Yeah. yeah. I've set it up so you could get 12 pieces a piece. Ooh. 12 cards 12, each. 12 right. pieces each? Yeah. 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 I mm. should not have had a burger for dinner. All right. <laughs> you guess, guess whose food just arrived. <laughs> oh, Brad, no. You don't have to use all of them in your deck. Guess, that's, true. that's true. Guess who remembered this was happening and didn't order dinner. I <laughs> feel silly now. Well, do you want to like uh, rock paper? Uh, no, that's bad. We've been bad yeah. At Matt that. and I are not great. Where's at uh? Well, hang on here. Yeah, uh, roll off. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, let's roll it. Do a little rollies. Uh, but where are we gonna? Where gonna I'm gonna roll this d6. That's two. two. That's two. two. That's two. So I think that's you, Matt. What? I'm two. You're going uh, if we're going clockwise. Oh, okay. oh, I thought we were just gonna throw this around six more oh, times. Okay. <laughs> then I guess I go first. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's yep. see what we time, got here. Time to find out. So yeah, in this, in this, because what I'm interested in is what, what is your first pick? Like, what is everyone's first pick? Yes. Okay, my Even first what, pick. You, um, what you see before you. So actually, I got a question. What is this nigiri? Ooh, that is a battleship, and I think that's scallops. It looks like scallops. Oh, okay. oh interesting. Okay, and that's um, eel? that's eel. That be eel. Okay, cool. And that's row. Yeah. Flying yeah. fish row. We don't have any salmon row on the table, but I think that's wheeled out of standard. Okay. Yeah. And then we've got salmon, tuna, tar. D different tuna. Oh, we have two oh. types of tuna. Different Three different types. Different types. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, we've got salmon, so we have tuna, tuna, salmon. Yeah. You, yeah. You, yeah. Hmm. And then this is California roll. California mm -hmm. roll. Tuna, salmon, and this looks like cucumber, cucumber roll. Yeah. And this is... Hosomaki. Oh, okay. Yeah. Big thick stuff with some mushrooms and yeah. some other vegetarian stuff. Okay. Um, which makes it crap vegetarian. Less vegetarian. Or just a whole thing of ginger. Does that how is the serving? I think this is part of the I bag. think this I think the ginger and the wasabi are like basic land. And that's the ad card. Yeah, okay. okay. Land station. Um, yeah. okay, so I'm I'm wavering on strategy here. Uh, because the uh, nigiri rolls are probably not gonna wheel. Would it be possible at all to zoom Kevin in a bit on What's going on, here? on the offerings? Hmm. Cause yeah, because we're visible on the right one, mm -hmm. so that that bottom left should be a little get, more. Get, get right, right in there. Get right in there. This on is some good looking yeah. fresh. Yeah, so these are not going to wheel. So if I want in on these, I should get in on them early. But mm -hmm. if you want the, the, the core of a really playable Thank sushi you, platter yeah. is uh, the California roll. Mm -hmm. And uh, yep. if I'm fighting the six of you. Uh, I want to make sure that I get a solid base of California roll into my uh, yeah, into my plate. Of course. Mm -hmm. uh, that said, I think I'm going to start things off with a uh, <laughs> salmon. <laughs> well, there's only there's a bunch of California rolls. So, yeah. all right, Andrew, S sending a strong uh, signal here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Matt went for the fake out there, but I I know very little about drafting, but I know that you start with the bombs. Oh God, yes. So, if I see a bomb. 
I know it's not going to wheel. So which tuna is that compared to the other tuna? That looks like... This looks like the Toro compared to just tuna, but I can't Well, tell. that would, I would say that an O Toro and possibly a Chew Toro. Right. And the difference again being... Fatty and medium. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, California Roll is never a first pick. I agree with Andrew completely. I'm taking the other the other one of these. <laughs> I can't fault you with that decision one bit. Yeah. So I'm going to actually try something a little bit difficult here, and I'm going to start my picks with uh, one of these scallops. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be. That feels like the start of one of those decks that you don't see very often, but when it combos off yeah. and you're on the receiving end of it, you're just like. All right, well, well, the white, the white red, green, you know, you're already yeah, leaving the your options open. Yeah, you need the pieces, but it can do something pretty impressive. Yeah. Now, I look at this, and I see just a lot of unfamiliarity. It's, mm. been, a, it's been a while, and <laughs> I'm not sure I've drafted this set before. So what I look for in something like this is a play style I'm familiar with. Because that means I can play to the best of my ability, even with cards I'm only tangentially aware of. Which means you got to go for an old, but classic favorite. Mm. I uh, just want to mention this $111 oh, donation. Yeah. Oh, so wow. that's a bunch of different entries in the Star Trek uh, cozies. That should be saying, 20? Can I get one of those sweet DS9 mugs to go with this? You can just order them. I just bought them for Desert Bus yeah. uh, and for The Office here a couple years ago. They're, I don't remember the brand, but they're, the style is called Hot Joe. One word, H-O-T-J-O. Sorry, that's what they're called. <laughs> uh, and they're just available. I got it on Wayfair. Like You can just find them online somewhere. So we're in pack two, right? We are now in pack two. All right. Which means the order. Oh yeah, do we versus... snake? I, you know, I think we do snake. I think that makes sense. Oh, right. fascinating. Okay. Snake You're changing snake. the rules on me here. <laughs> this way through the draft. This, no, this is basic drafting rules. Yeah. Now I could cut this color completely mm. and just force this combo. However, I want to send signals, and I also want to keep myself open. Mm. So instead, I'm going to take something that pairs incredibly nicely with it while not necessarily saying, this is what I'm doing. Oh. Let's see. Yep. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The support. Yeah, folks aren't necessarily going to notice that you're smart. Mm. Ian. Oh, I mean, now, now, that I've got, now that I've got things wheeling on me here, things mm. change. And I think I have to go in and grab that tuna mm -hmm. before it mm -hmm. disappears as well. That's it would have if you hadn't picked it just now. <laughs> yeah. Bastard. <laughs> uh, Real quick question though, would, if that had not, would you have gone for that team? Hundred percent. That was okay. my next pick. <laughs> so no matter what, it wouldn't have made it to me. No. <laughs> well, I looked at you two wanks doing that. I'm like, no. Yep. <laughs> the and I'm gonna keep on doing it. Yep. I'm picking the bombs first. Yep. Um, what's after bombs? Removal. Got it. I mean, bread is outdated, but that's beside the point. You want sushi that affects the board. I want the yeah. move. So that's interesting. You're, you're going right into the cooked sushi here. Yep. Yep. Mm. Uh, it doesn't always pay off. Sometimes you wind up with a deck that doesn't really go anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, but when it hits, it hits hard. It's sweet. Yeah. Quadrant theory. Exactly, Dix. You want, an, you want sushi that's going to help you in the developing turns of the game, in the late game, when you're ahead, or when you're behind. I should bring a chance. Okay. Matt, I'm... I'm and you get two back to back. Cause it's all snakes on you now. Great. <laughs> yeah. It's your turn um, to shine. All right. So in that case, uh, given I've missed out on the real power that's on the board, um, I am going with uh, one of these just to to get a little splash of tuna mm -hmm. in my deck. Um, and then since we're wheeling back in the other direction, uh, I'm going to start building out the base of my deck at this point. Mm -hmm. um, as mentioned, you know, there's there, the California roll is the yep. core of, a, of just a playable, consistent deck, and uh, I think consistency is what I'm looking for it here. It goes in everything. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't. I don't go for consistency these days. I try to go for splashy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plenty of options there. On the when you when you draft when you draft as often as I do, you <laughs> you're in it to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> right. And so that doesn't always work out. Sometimes the experiment comes crashing down. Oh, at yeah. least you enjoyed new flavors along the way. Andrew. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take a bit of a note from that as well and add my third color here. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't know if I'm going to try and go for five color, but I, I want a little variety. I want to, like, if this is a 12-card deck, I have some room to play. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to also move into a third fish, and I'm going to take the other Nagi. Mm -hmm. 
Will we stay with the with only these fish? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Who can say? Weirdly, mm. the Gunkin uh, deck is still wide open here, even mm. this far in. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to continue on with my picks and uh, and add some big red. Yeah. All right. Uh, see, I need to cut this off right now mm. because if you get two, we're all in danger. Yeah. However, I think it's time to get a little splashy. Mm. I don't usually pick one of these up so early, but I'm absolutely going five oh. five color. Oh yeah. Ooh. What's in that? It looks like it's carrot and lots of things. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot of pickled vegetables. Very it's well. just the five color cucumber, good stuff. Cucumber, Corn. carrot, mushroom, tamago, and uh, crab. Yep. Or imitation crab, I guess. Alright. Yeah. Ooh. That's such a good pick. Mm. You have a chance to really shore up your your uh, your scallop representation yeah. with the you can cut that off entirely. I think I have to. I was I I, I could see you considering yeah, it. Yeah, to be yeah. honest, like if we're pulling from the back of the pack here still. That needs to be done. Okay. Definitely rare drafting with a pack uh, you don't <laughs> typically see very much. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if, if I'm out in the first round, I'm still going to be happy with the trading this in. Hmm. This is tough, but the nigiri is starting to dwindle, so I want to make yeah. sure that, that I'm well represented in that regard. So I'm going to take one of these ebi. 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 Well, you I know just... how a draft uh, rhythm goes. It ebbies and it flows. Uh, uh, he's like, like the hair. Yeah. yeah. I like Ian's plate over there with the three mythics and one rare on it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm here in the popper draft. Wouldn't it, because it's sushi, it's all rare, right? <laughs> <laughs> not, hey. not the unagi. Oh, no, that's fair. But everything else. Yes. Hmm. Rare drafts, well done. <laughs> See, this is when I start to get into trouble, because I start to kind of lose... I don't have as much experience drafting as a lot of you, so I start to lose kind of where I'm going next, and I start to just pick safer and safer cards, so... I think that's fair. Yeah. Like, it's it's not going to do anything super impressive, mm -hmm. but it's not going to let me down. you got to have your one drops. got to have the one drops. Drops. One drops. You, you have to do something in the early turns. Yep. All right, my, my turn? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, so, it's obviously, it's not as splashy as uh, a nigiri in this color, but uh, I'm going to push hard for the play set. Uh, we are going for... Right, he's got two tunas. Oh, three oh. tunas. Oh. Tuna I got to I gotta take advantage of this while it's still available to get oh. that power into my deck. Yeah. Uh, and it cycles back? Yep. It cycles yep. back, yeah. Excellent, that's good. Because I feel like that, like, seeing that much tuna missing... Mm -hmm. At this point, mm -hmm. I can tell that somebody's going for the playset. I didn't realize how into as a table how like I didn't realize this was such a tuna forward table. Yeah. I can believe it Surprise. without a second doubt. Yeah. <laughs> People have different tastes in, in sushi. Yeah. I was I wasn't yeah. you know I wasn't expecting it. This is this is more I'm, about making sure that I'm not playing that full pl against that. Full I'm play part set. of the problem. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I'm hopeful that the other players will. Now here's the problem. I'm locked out. Of, I'm locked out of the Tekamaki. Out of the one drops uh, tunas. Right. And I think only that's, one remains. Yeah, only one remains. But that's just the one. It doesn't really pair with anything other than the uh, the Chutora. No, you're one. right. Yeah. And I think rather than trying to to, to pair the tunas together, I think yeah. it's time to get into a world of contrast. Yep. And. Jump right into Ooh. the Kapamaki. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. We got a lot. We got a lot of very heavy stuff here, and yeah. we need to balance that out yeah. on the low end. I like that thought process. However, what I'm going to do first is get my third piece of Exodia. Smart. <laughs> I can't get all five, but the good news is in this game, three will do just fine. However, so you, you also have three pieces of the. I only have two, oh, two but okay. I do have the full top. Oh yes. Yeah. However, I'm um, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely following Ian's uh, idea and lightening my deck with some fixing. Mm. Okay. Back to you, Ian. Back to me. I think at this point, I mean, we've, uh, these teams tend to wheel quite a lot, but I find they really show whether or not this set is is something that's going to... Mm. And the test of time, we're going to go Tamago. Yeah. You're going to go Tamago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, now it's, it's, it's interesting. I, I don't, I'm... Because I have an opportunity for it. Uh, it's, there's th Once I pass, there's Andrew, Matt, Matt, Andrew again. 
Yeah. So yeah. do I think that the, the second Ebi or the second Tamago are going to withstand that? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they are, but I'm, I'm willing to take that risk and I'll take a piece of salmon. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Andrew. You took a risk. I took a risk and it did no. not pan out. It did not pan out. But no. will you keep the Ebi? I don't know. Yeah, the <laughs> will you get your Floby to your Ebi? <laughs> uh, Matt, you're up. All right. Um, since I got shut out of my playset of, uh, of tuna, um, I need to start making up some ground. Uh, I do have the one bomb, so I need to get some support cards in there for it. So we're yeah. going with one of those yep. and one of those. There we go. Yes. One and okay. two. Yeah, yeah. Just going to reset that copy marking. Thank you. Uh, it is, it's at this point where I realize that I've, I've kind of tried to, tried to do a few, too many things, and it's just <laughs> sort of turning into a weird mess on me. But again, I don't... You know what? I'm just going to acknowledge that $555 donation Whoa. from oh, wow. SG, who really wants these uniform mugosies, I think. Thank yeah. you, SG. Yeah. Much respect. Uh, you are doing better at your donations than I am doing at my draft, because I'm just picking cards at random at this point, Ooh. because they look fun to play. Mm -hmm. Into the five colors. Yep. Again, it may not come together, but I'm going to have a good time. Um... I know, this is where the packs start to feel a little picked yeah. over, right? I'm, like, I'm willing to take the risk, and uh, I'm going to go with another piece of salmon here. Okay. Yeah. I am really getting locked out of those uh, the, the fish-based monkeys. Yeah. But that's okay. You, you have two more shots. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, you have one shot for sure. Yes. Jordan could t totally lock you out of <laughs> Salmon Maki if you pass. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying that I've been signaling with my choices uh, <laughs> my picks, but I gotta say, I don't think it's worth splashing for Salmon at this point. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think we're gonna go Futo. Nice. Alright, Jordan. Alright, well, we're gonna get another bomb in, and I don't want Graham to get mm. the play set. Fair I enough. Yeah. Nobody has managed to get to, oh no, actually, Ian's managed to get both scallops. Yeah. But I will yep. be sniping a salmon. All right. Okay. That being the case, then, I might as well start filling out my Kapamaki regimen here. All right. I will happily take salmon maki number three. And I will take the second one from my deck. Mm -hmm. You can also tell we're getting into the later stages of the packs. The yeah. picks are moving quickly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Every, All right. It's starting to come together for a lot of folks. Okay, at this point, I'm in full consistency mode. I'm taking... Oh. California roll number California two. California roll number two and... Oh. California roll number three. Okay, yeah, right. yeah. Um, I'm, I'm continuing to try and get as much variety as here, so, like, I am going to follow Matt's lead there, but for different reasons. Uh, I am also into California... Roll territory. Yeah. You just because can't have mean, a deck without it. Yeah, no. it's it's consistent. It doesn't matter you what you know. Colors what to expect like. out of a California roll. Well, I do need to make sure that I can always get a Futomak if I need it, so I'm going to grab a second one. Yeah, mm, smart. While I like your ideas of getting California rolls, I'm looking around at all of these picks, and you're going way too big. You're never going to reach your bombs without your low drops. Mm. Uh, yeah. all, right. all right. Back to me. I, you know what? Let's. You got the right idea. I need to shore up just a bit on this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep on going the California roll route because I want to make sure that I have a bit more consistency in the deck. I've got three salmons here. Mm -hmm. and I've, now I've got two California rolls. Statistically, I should be able to get a third, uh, and uh, then that'll sort of. This is, this is my early game, my mid game, and then late game, late game bombs over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in a similar sort of way, I want to kind of get my... I should, I should show that off. There we go. <laughs> I just realized. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in a similar sort of way, yeah. I have two tuna, two salmon, and I'm going to go with a second California roll. Ah. Oh. How about you, Matt? All right. Uh, I'm holding the line. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Mm-hmm. Four and five. Ooh, Four and five. Okay. Wow. Nice. All right, so Matt actually has Exodia now. Now here's yeah. the danger mm -hmm. point. No, oh, the danger point. How many Californies do we have left on the table here? Uh, down seven. to seven. Down seven. to seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll get two chances at them. I got two chances. Mm -hmm. If you wish to go yes. that Picks to you, Andrew. I don't know that I'm going to be able to make the play set, but I'm going to keep building mid-range. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm right there with you. And honestly, a set or a deck isn't really right without some California. All right. right. Jordan. Unfortunately, I'm realizing that I was in the wrong colors the whole time, apparently, because there's so much California rolls left. I mean, there, were, there was so many of them. That's yeah. why I didn't get them early. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that exactly. There's so many of them until there aren't any. Right. Yeah. They are yeah. moving quickly. So I'm picking up this one, but I'm going to get my fourth. Ah. Sometimes when, you, when you're doing the drafting... Uh, I'm sorry. You go oh, ahead. Right. I'm going to do a pair All right. of the California. Here. Sometimes when you're doing the drafting, you... It is to your benefit to sort of, you know, maybe if the signals aren't helpful in helping you find what lane you're definitely in early on, you can self-identify the lane that you are not in mm. and make sure to stay out of that. Right. And for someone who actively dislikes cucumber, oh. like, oh, I was never going to be taking Kapamaki, yeah. so I am uh. thrilled to see how highly the rest of you are picking it. Go ahead. Um... Oh, see, now we're down to just sort of just one of each here. And I know that Matt's leading heavy into California roll, so to a certain degree, I don't want him to get that. Because whatever you're passing, Matt gets both of the remaining pieces. Yeah. So I'm a little worried about him having access to that much California roll, mm -hmm. but I don't want to play against Matt's deck. I want to mm. play my own cards in front of yeah, me. That makes sense. So I am going to take this Futomaki Futo. as my final pick here. That seems totally reasonable. Like, um, that means my draft strategy of being in weenies is uh, <laughs> really paying off. Yeah, you ended up with six pieces of California. Yeah. I did, yeah. and uh, it was the result of getting shut out of the bombs early because yeah. of a late stage rule change <laughs> in the draft. Um, I'm sorry, but I that feel you don't confident know how that my works. deck is extremely playable. Right. So where did we end up? Matt, it just sounds like you were just a little slow on the reaction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do we want to uh, show off each yeah, person's let's get deck? Yeah. We can. We can get them all in. We can get them all in. So Matt, so, you first pick there. You ended up with six pieces of California rolls, two salmon maki, three tuna maki, one kappa maki or cucumber maki, and a uh, salmon nigiri. Yes. Looking looking good. Can That's right. For a bit here? Now I'm just yeah. trying to format my plate so yeah. that they're. Nicely assembled. And then here we have Andrew's build. Yep. Full of lots of things. Yep. Graham's build is over in the top right corner mm -hmm. of the camera. Ian's build. I'm exceedingly uh, pleased with my own. Crushed stuff. with the two scalps. Yeah, that this is very yeah. good. I'm yeah. bummed to have missed out on row entirely. I feel like my balance is perfect here. I it looks good. Think you have the strongest outright. But we can see how it but goes. But if he gets there, though, yeah, he has to get like there. Like those first. are those are a lot. That's a lot of high cost cards. Yeah. And then finishing it up, my plate down here. Some folks in chat disagreeing with my with my theory. Fair, which is fair. You know, talking about how they're like, but cucumber's delicious. Ah, but to me, it tastes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost have like you, taste have is you subjective. Yes, yeah. I do not enjoy the taste of it. It's yeah. what you like to play. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. It's the same reason I don't play. I can't think of it. I play all the colors in Magic now. It's not relevant. <laughs> yep. That joke doesn't work. This looks great. Yeah. All okay, right. Let's sleep up. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to pass me one of those red lands? Sure thing. Sleep up and get Yeah, can you give me some basics? Yeah. I, I would shuffle. also enjoy some basics, please. Now, uh, at least <laughs> one more. Here, Here's my yeah. question, just with yeah. regards yeah. to the yeah. way that we've done this sushi draft. Uh-huh. Uh, who's going to run the stream while the five of us are all eating? <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Brett. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry right. about it. Great. Like we can actually just do a review of sushi at this point, too. But. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I can't wait to eat 12 pieces of sushi and then go eat my dinner. <laughs> Again, Jordan, you don't have to finish the whole deck. You're right. Jordan finishes the, the whole, whole deck. deck. I was thinking the same thing. Dropping kayfabe for a brief second mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. I guess. One of the best parts about doing a sushi draft like this is it gives the sushi time to warm up closer to room temperature so the rice isn't so goddamn hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Having just 
had a hamburger and a slice of ice cream cake. <laughs> I'm going to be sacrilegious and not have the rice on my nigiri. I think it's okay. I'm just going to eat the fish off it. Mm -hmm. You didn't see what I did to my churashi don yesterday. <laughs> Listen, Chris. If you, you wanted, <laughs> if you wanted to draft sashimi, you should have gotten us better packs. Yeah, collectors boosters. Oh, I didn't pay extra for the sashimi. <laughs> sometimes you open sashimi, sometimes you don't. It's random. Um, candidly, even though while we are doing all this fun k uh thank you to Ian and Brett who really led the charge on this one in particular. Yep. Mm -hmm. Brett handled the sourcing. Brett has handled the sourcing of so many things this run. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. Thank I'm just you. happy to be able to sit down and drive the bus for a few minutes. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. just because I'm curious, yeah. and other sushi restaurants are available, this is not sponsored or an endorsement. Where's this from? Uh, oh, I forget. Ian, what we decided? I can, I can answer that. It, it was from Sakura Sushi, oh, uh, okay. mainly because, and, and this is relevant if you're interested in sushi in Victoria, they require only one hour's notice if you would like a sushi platter. Mm. Ah, because this is a quite a lot of sushi, yes. Yeah. Because Fair you enough. would think that by now we'd plan our bets. Huh? Yeah. You would think. Um, real quick, gentlemen, there is just over six minutes remaining mm. on this giveaway for the mm -hmm. Star Trek hey. Uniform mug cozies. Thank you, Brett. So get your donations in of 555 or multiples thereof. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for doing our job yeah. while we eat sushi. You. Yeah. Brett wasn't hitting when Brett was like, no, I got this. We've got some silent auctions, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Why, don't we, Why don't we bring those up? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we bring those up? I think uh, uh, Brett and Boomer might be able to tell us oh, about yeah. those. Oh, no. Despite it coming, it coming from Bethesda, you cannot expect any patches for this particular product. Yeah. Except for those you provide your own. Yes. How do you patch slate that's already been sealed with varnish? Long process. <laughs> Very carefully. <laughs> Got to yeah. put it at the bottom of the ocean and wait about 23 million years. <laughs> Fair enough. Long. Uh, as more time filler <laughs> while you folks are eating, it's just because it reminded me of it, because uh, we're doing a silent auction for a, uh, a show uh, done by Alex Hirsch, who is tremendous and did like things like Gravity Falls and whatnot. Have you seen their live posts that they made of the um, the Disney review committee reviewing oh, yeah. their their <laughs> their uh, their claims and whatnot for Gravity Falls? Yeah. If yeah. you haven't, they are ridiculous, and we could show them. But could we? <laughs> yeah, I have a video. Oh, aren't they not appropriate? Uh, not really. Really? Oh, okay. I thought there were swears and such. I don't think so. Hold on. All right, my bad. It's actually no swears. There's no swearing on Twitter. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, good. Okay. If it does, we'll hear it. Okay. Jordan demolished his deck. I was first one out. I think I'm going. I think I'm just going to rear draft this. 